so now we will read about the streptococcus still now we have learned that the gram positive cocci were classified on the basis of catalyst test into two families one was micrococcus family other one was streptococcus family streptococcus family was catalyst negative while the micrococcus family was catalyst positive so now we are going to learn about that catalyst negative gram positive streptococci so first we will see about the classification of the streptococci which is very important very important to know for the uh, exam point of view okay it is uh, very commonly asked as well to describe the classification of the streptococcus next we will see what are the main bacteria which belong to this family streptococci family and uh, we will learn about them in the future lectures so first we will see the classification of the streptococcus so streptococci is first on the basis of O2 requirement is classified into the aerobes or obligate aerobes and the obligate anaerobes. Obligate anaerobes means when they come in contact of oxygen they will die. They can only live in absence of oxygen. Okay. While aerobes means which need oxygen. So obligate anaerobes means uh, those who uh, can live only in absence of oxygen. In when they come in contact of oxygen they will die and while aerobes means uh, those bacteria or those streptococcus which can live in presence of oxygen okay those are aerobes so uh, the obligate anaerobe which we have found is the streptococcus that is found in the stomach and is the is the obligate anaerobe which is belonging to the streptococcus family so Further, the aerobes on the basis of hemolysis, they are uh, classified or divided into three groups. One is the alpha hemolysis, alpha hemolytic, beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis. So, the bacteria belonging to the streptococcus, they can cause three types of hemolysis on the blood agar. Either they can cause the alpha hemolysis or beta hemolysis or gamma hemolysis. So, what does that alpha, beta and gamma hemolysis mean? So, the meaning of these hemolysis is that alpha hemolysis means there will be partial hemolysis of RBC. There will be partial lysis of RBC and the zone of lysis will be very small. About 1 mm will be the zone of uh, hemolysis surrounding the colonies. And the most important feature to detect or to, uh, to say that yes it is alpha hemolysis we will see greenish discoloration around the colonies whenever we see the greenish discoloration around the colonies that means it is a alpha hemolysis that is a serious sign for a alpha hemolysis that is greenish discoloration around the colonies while for uh, detecting the beta hemolysis on a blood agar by any organism uh, in beta hemolysis there is complete lysis of the rbcs and the zone of hemolysis will be around 2 to 4 mm which is more than the alpha hemolysis surrounding the colonies so the zone of lysis in beta hemolysis is more than the alpha hemolysis and yes there will be a pale zone surrounding the colonies which will indicate that yes complete hemolysis has occurred here and hence it is a beta hemolysis well gamma hemolysis means there will be no hemolysis okay there will be no hemolysis surrounding the colonies that will be called as the gamma hemolysis so what are the bacteria uh, which belong to the alpha hemolysis so the bacteria which belong to the alpha hemolysis which to which we are concerned are the streptococcus viridens and the streptococcus pneumoniae this streptococcus pneumoniae is also uh, called as the pneumococcus so both streptococcus pneumoniae and pneumococcus are referring to the same bacteria so we need not to confuse between them so these are the two alpha hemolytic streptococci while the gamma hemolytic streptococci are the enterococcus okay gamma hemolytic streptococci are the enterococcus further when we see that uh, the beta hemolysis beta hemolytic uh, streptococci we are further classified this is the most extensive group okay beta hemolytic streptococci, streptococci is the most ex extensive group that's why there has been many classification of this um, group so that we can divide the bacteria in small parts in uh, while grouping so uh, in beta hemolysis first we did the Lansfield grouping this was done by a scientist so based on uh, his name it was given the name of Lansfield grouping and this was based on the 
सी कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंटीजन ऑन द सेल वॉल ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया हाउ विल यू रिमेंबर सो सी हेयर इन लेंस फील्ड वी हैव सी हेयर एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द सी कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंटीजन इन द सेल वॉल सो सी 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 लेंस फील्ड सी देन सी कार्बोहाइड्रेट सी इन द सेल वॉल सो सी 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 फोर सीज C for lens field, C for C antigen, C for C carbo, C so C for this C for C carbohydrate and cell wall. So by four C's you can remember the lens field grouping is based on the C carbohydrate antigen which is present in the cell wall. So based on that uh, lens field grouping, what we got was twenty serotypes of the streptococci. So there was development of 20 sero groups 20 sero groups of beta hemolytic streptococci so the all the bacteria which were present in the beta hemolytic group they were classified into 20 sero groups and the name of the sero groups was given from a to v but i and j are excluded so there is a sero group b sero group c sero group like that we uh, it is it has been classified up to v sero group okay based on the lens field grouping based on the c carbohydrate antigen present in the cell wall further what we what we saw uh, in the group a streptococci there was there were multiple strains there were multiple uh, types of you know serotypes of the uh, bacteria in the group a streptococci so that's why group a streptococci was further classified by griffith and it was called as the griffith typing so by Griffith typing which was based on the M protein which is also present in the cell wall. So G for M okay. G for M good morning. So G for M. Griffith typing was based on the M protein which is present in the cell wall. And based on that uh, M protein in the cell wall the group A streptococci are classified into more than 150 serotypes. So uh, group A streptococci alone has more than 150 serotypes based on the M proteins in the cell wall by the Griffith typing. So this is the whole classification of the streptococci what we have to learn. Next we see the important beta hemolytic uh, streptococci which is important for us to at least know the names of these uh, streptococci. So group A streptococci is streptococcus pyogenes group b streptococci is streptococcus agalacti group c is streptococcus equi while group c and group g is streptococcus disgalacti equi similis why it is given group c plus group g because it has got both c group type of antigen and g group type of antigen so this this bacteria has both the antigens of uh, that is of uh, c group group c and as well as group g that's why it is called as group c plus group g streptococci okay this may be asked in the mcq also this may, this bacteria may be asked in mcqs as well now group d streptococci is the streptococcus gallolyticus and streptococcus equinus out of these we will learn about the streptococcus pyogenes in extensive and streptococcus agalit agalacti also in a uh, in uh, in a short uh, short video okay so uh, the more focus will be on the streptococcus pyogenes so this is all about the classification of the streptococcus